Today we're opening an entire box of mystery boxes. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In today's video, I was sent a box from a viewer. Well, I actually bought it from him, but he had some mystery boxes for sale from Walmart and there's a bunch of different ones that we've opened on the channel before. And we always love opening those mystery boxes. We're gonna do a little mystery box battle and see what happens. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away 24 Tactical Masters packs. These are some of the leftover packs we had when we actually ended up pulling the scapegoat and still had a bunch of packs left over. There should be collector rares in at least some of the packs. I think we have three or four left. So if you guys wanna win those, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you want to see out of these mystery boxes. Let me know your favorite mystery box ever, whether it's from Walmart, Target, wherever it was, you know, one of those third party mystery boxes. This was sent to me by Toen, a supporter of the channel. You guys probably hear him at the end of every video, basically, because he's been supporting my channel for a long time. Friend on Instagram, stuff like that. So let's see what he sent us. I think this might have some. Is this a giveaway? Oh, this might be a double giveaway day. Let's see what his note says. Hey, Rux, this is very light. It's lightly written. Hope you pull amazing from these mystery boxes. Always enjoy the content and want to see you pull every pack opening again or can't wait to see the pull every pack opening again. By the time you guys see this, we're getting really close to 150K. I still need to record that thing. I hope we're not going to be late. Probably going to be late, let's be honest. So we're going to try not to, but uh, it's a very long opening. Hopefully pull some good stuff out of it. I'm excited about it as well. And then here's some packs to add to the giveaway. Toen, aka Toen Fo Show, that is him. So he sent these to be added to the giveaway. So you guys can win a ton of packs if you guys win this giveaway. By the way, giveaways only announced on the YouTube community tab, not in the comments. Keep that in mind. Those are scammers. We have a magical hero, Kaiba. Yugi. We've got ourselves Destiny. Uh, we got the Sisters of the Rose, a couple of those. We've got Eternity Code First Edition. Ooh, a Duel Alliance. That's an old pack. And then, ooh, a First Edition Portuguese pack. That's really fun for Metal Raiders as well. You can get that Pequeno. And speaking of Pequeno Moth, we have a Pequeno Moth, a Pequeno Moth, Larva Moth, Larva Moth, Larva Moth, the uh, Pale Beast, Pale Beast, Pale Beast, Pale Beast, Pale Beast, Pale Beast. You'll love to see those. These he didn't say to add to the giveaway, so I might actually hang on to these. And then when people ask for like signatures and stuff, we've got a little bit extra. So there we go. All right. So now we are going to do a three way mystery box battle. I want you guys to put in the comments which one you think will win. That can be part of the giveaway entering as well. So we have a chaos box. We have a monster box. I also just kind of like bit my tongue or something that kind of hurt. And then we have a mystery box. So that this is a real underdog because there are only two packs in this thing. So if this thing wins, it'd be pretty impressive. It does have those players choice sleeves, though, which are really quality and nice. So I guess we're going to do this by starting with the underdog because it has the lowest chance of winning, I would say, and see what we can pull. And then we'll go to the chaos box than the monster box i think that these sleeves should probably count as what at least five dollars probably more than that i would say 10 we're gonna be a little generous with this mystery box because it has less packs so we're gonna say count those players choice sleeves as 10 bucks they're pretty nice i mean they're definitely valuable so let's see what we can get is it one of the nice packs we have a soul fusion that's a nice pack and then we have a $10 pack of sleeves, what we're going to say. Probably a little bit expensive, but uh, we're going to go with that in the Dark Neostorm. So we did not get one of the crazy ones. So we're going to have to have something pretty good to have a chance here. Maybe we could get, uh, you know, like Secret Rare or something. Let's start with Dark Neostorm. Fusion Destiny is still a card that's worth a little bit, but it's not too insane. So that would be a decent one. We'll take it if we get it. We got the Firewall Guardian. World Legacy Cliffhanger. Deus X Crawl. Oh, I should have done the pack trick. Let's do that so we don't... Uh, you know, spoil it too early. We got the Dino Wrestler. Escramamenchi? What is that? Goki the Solid Ogre, the Assault Sentinel. Deus Ex Crawler. Pegasus Wing. We have a... Ooh, Super Rare, Super Quantal Mecha Beast, a Luster Rex. And a World Chalice Guard Dragon, Almara Duke. Okay. That is just a rare. That is not going to help too much in terms of the value. Next, let's go into Soul Fusion. The Fusion of the Soul. We have... Galaxy Cleric. There's some decent cards in here, so let's see if we can pull a nice secret rare. Ostinato, Patchwork Fluffle, the Agave Dragon, Solomon Great Jack Jaguar, Bear Blocker, Dino Ruster, King T, Rextal, Herald of the Abyss. All right, that's our super rare. And then we have a Necro Valley Temple. So it looks like this box is going to end right around $10 just on these sleeves. So that's kind of the benchmark we're set at, but uh, it's going to be pretty hard to win with that. Next up, Chaos Box. This doesn't have a lot of packs in it, so there's a potential to like completely bomb and, you know, lose to $10 because at least $10 is solid, you know, value to start with. Let's start off with, I think, this one. What is this? A Hidden Summoners. Actually a pretty solid pack, so I think you can get some decent stuff out of here. Let's start with this one. What can the Chaos Box do? Can it beat the whatever that other one was called? I already forgot. Wait, where'd I put it? I lost it. I don't know. <laughs> Fulfillment of the contract. Super rare. We got the ritual foregone. Very nice. Fusion recycling plant. 
the rebirth of Nephthys. We have a gold sarcophagus. That might be worth. Oh, that's secret rare. Wait, this could maybe have a dollar value. So that might be a, like a decent hit. Okay. Secret rare gold sarc. You don't see that very often. Looks really, very, very beautiful. Next up, we have, let's go with this one. Oh, a duelist alliance. That's actually pretty sick. I don't think they count this as your legacy pack either. So that's pretty solid. This is also in the giveaway as well. If you guys remember, this is a giveaway pack. I never really pulled anything good out of Duelist Alliance, so I would love to start now. There's Ghost Rares in here, Ultimate Rares in here, Shadal stuff. Um, what is it? Not, not. T I was about to say Tier Elements. What are those? The, the, the little Knight guys? The, what are they called? Curse of the Shadow Prince. Let's just pull one. Shadow. Uh, there's the Scamando. That's good. Stellar Knight and Stellar Knight. Yeah, those, those. Yeah, those. That's what I was talking about. Hippo Carnival. Very cool. The Brixie Water of the Yangzing. Is that our super? Oh wait, that. Okay, that pops up way earlier than I thought. Resonance Insect is a very good common. There's some good commons that later got like foil reprints and OTS packs and stuff like that one. Okay, so this is losing to the sleeves right now. I'm just gonna say, I think this is the Mega Pack. Yeah, Mega Pack 2018. So what was in 2018? This is kind of when I got back into it. it was 2018, early 2018. Let's see, World Legacy Clash, Luna Light, Crimson Fox, Contact C, Launcher Commander, Fire Prison, Auto Navigator, the Heavy Storm Duster. That's a super rare. Okay, what's coming next? Ooh, Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. I think that's at least a couple bucks. That's a good hit. Oh, we got a Ruxin Special with the Broken Line. I don't know anything about that card. It has a Battery Man on it. Uh, okay, so maybe we got a little bit of decent stuff there. Pulse Mines. I know that card from uh, Duel Links way back with that Ancient Gears. Yeah, old school Duel Links players. Anybody? So I'd say they're still losing though. So this is going to be interesting. We have a Dark Saviors. Pretty good potential in here. I think you can pull like Sky Striker stuff in here, which has some value like the uh, Widow Anchor and stuff. Plague Spreader Zombie. Very nice. The Quick Booster. The Seal Strategist for Hire. I like that stuff. This is for Hire stuff's cool. Uh, Crimson Knight Vampire Bram. And we have a... I thought we might have the Widow Anchor. We have a Jamming Waves, which I think this is a couple bucks too. So we're kind of slowly dinking and dunking there, you know, trying to get something good. And the final pack is, might be the one that has to win it for him. Oh, it is a Legend of Blue Eyes pack. That's beautiful. Gonna need a pull because I don't think we have $10 yet. So this is gonna be interesting. Will the sleeves by themselves become the mis best mystery box, which would be pretty funny. There's a big old ding right there. Hopefully that's the only card it is. One, two, three, four. You do this little flippy flop. Yeah, let's get ourselves a blue eyes. We have a vile germs. The petite angel, a quick moving and tiny fairy. That's very difficult to hit. Okay, very uh, agile. Doesn't really look agile. It's a big circle, so it's kind of weird. The succubus knight, a warrior wizard, adept in casting bone chilling spells. That's a wizard? I don't think I ever read that flavor text. I did not know she was a wizard. We got the Karama, very nice. Green Phantom King. Very, very nice. Oh, also, wait a second. That actually reminds me. On one of my TikToks, you guys remember a long time ago when I was talking about how uh, Cosmo Queen was, uh, you know, more powerful than the Dark Magician. I was like, Ultimate Wizard and Attack and Defense. I showed the Cosmo Queen and everyone was like, well, she's not a wizard. La, la, la. A warrior wizard. Huh? Yeah, there you go, TikTok comments. Yeah, take that. All right, let's go. We got the uh, the Green Phantom King. I got to keep that for later. I'm going to add that. With the Larvus Knight. The machine conversion factory. Can we get something? I think it's a rare next. Two pronged attack. All right. Can we end it with a big foil? Let's go. We have a Celtic. I feel like I'm on Celtic Guardian all the time. Celtic Guardian, super rare. This is going to be close. I don't know like the values, but I think we are very close to $10. That one might be like a dollar or two. Very interesting. The most interesting thing being Succubus Knight is a wizard. So very interesting to learn that. All right. Our final box. It is going to be tough. Maybe we, you know what we should have done? Those two should have combined forces against this. I think that's what we should do because honestly, like right now, nine packs. I mean, how are they possibly going to lose? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might have to combine forces of those other two boxes to have a chance. This is probably my favorite mystery box they've made from like Walmart and stuff like that. Not Walmart, but whoever makes it. Who made this? Does it actually say MJ Holding? Okay, MJ Holding actually did something good for once. So I'll say that this was a quality mystery box. It's like 30 bucks. You get nine really solid packs. I mean, can't complain too much about that. They're pretty consistent, too. It's not like you get, like, garbage ever. All right, our first pack is Breakers of Shadow. See, like, pretty decent. I think this is one of the worst packs you usually get, too, so it's still not too bad. Let's see if we can pull a nice Buster Blader card. We have Score, the Melodious Diva, Following, Forbidden Apocrypha. This got, like, a 
wasn't this in Dual Devastator or something like that? Perform performance Hurricane, not Performance Pal. Shirinuri Samurai Saga. Draco Face Off. The Ultimate Providence. Oh, that's a secret rare. Whoa, okay. Ultimate Providence, secret rare. I know that this does have a little bit of value. This card was pretty good in Duel Links for a while. It's like a, uh, a negate. You just have to pitch this like kind of card that you're actually negating, like a trap. You pitch a trap. Monster, you pitch a monster, stuff like that. Secret rare. That is a good start for those. I mean, they might have already won. Probably wasn't $10, but it's close. Next pack up. That is a very good pull. We have a Duel Links Alliance. We have seen three of these packs today. We've pulled two out of mystery boxes, one for the giveaway from Toen. Pretty amazing. Once again, make sure to let Toen know in the comment. I don't think I actually said that before, so maybe not once again, but let him know. I think last time it was like four, and then you had to swap these. Let's do that. Can we pull the Ghost Rare? I've never pulled this Ghost Rare. You guys know I want to pull every Ghost Rare at some point. Let's just do it now for this one. Hymn of Light, Performer Pal, Hip Hippo, UA Stadium, White Prince, Artifact Lancia, Battle Guard Rage, Metaphys Arm Dragon, Performer Pal Kaleida Scorp, and we have a Chaos Seed. That is just a common, so no foil in that pack. Yeah, that pack's so old, there were not a foil in every single pack. Is that two packs in? We have seven to go. Next is a Shining Victories, which I kind of like always consider as like the brother set of Breakers of Shadow. It's like, you feel like they go hand in hand, you know what I mean? One, two, three. Let's see if we can pull that blue eyes. Shining, is it blue? Not blue, Shining Dragon. Um, The Synchro, what is it called? Sh blue eyes. Spirit Dragon, there we go. Digital Bug, uh, Centibit. Raid Raptor, Revenge Vulture. Dynamis Eruption, we got the Digital Bug. Scaradi Scaradiator? Okay, Scaradiator, I think is that. Jindo, the Ascentic Monk, the Bug Emergency. Finite cards, not infinite cards from LOD. This is finite cards. And then an Amorphage, Goliath. Yes, Goliath himself, nine feet tall. And then we have a Luna Light, Blue Cat. Continuing on. So really, we pulled a Seeker and kind of slowed down. Ooh, Dimension of Chaos. Now that's an old pack, 2015. I think actually Duelist Alliance is older, but you don't get to see these very often either. We once opened hundreds of these packs and pulled the Ghost Rares left and right. It was insane. We pulled so many good pulls. So many good pulls. So many Ghost Rares. It just sounded weird when I said that. Despot Jet, Cosmo Lightsport, Fright for March. We got the DD Savant Kepler. Cosmo, Wicked Witch, Performer Pal, Perform Mage, Mirror Conductor. It's so confusing. This Performer Pal, Perform Mage, very difficult to keep track of. Shuffle Reborn, nice. We have Rank Up Magic Raid Force. Wait, I think there's not a foil in this one. Yeah, it can be a foil in a... Yeah, there could be, could maybe not. So in that one, there was not. All right, maybe they don't need to band together. They're kind of making a, a comeback in terms of two Breakers of Shadow. That's kind of weird. Okay, but our only good pull came out of Breakers of Shadow, so we can't really complain about that. We have Magispector Sonics, Forbidden Apocrypha, Performer Pal, Bit Bite Turtle. He's bit, he's bite, he's turtle. Dynamis Charge, Super Every Samurai General Jade, Dynamis Brachion, Dynamis Stegosaur, and a Magispector Supercell. So this is, wait, this is guaranteed, I think. Yeah, this is guaranteed. Oh, look, a Kaiju. That might actually be worth a couple bucks. Kaiju pull. All right, very solid. Okay. Next, we have Flames of Destruction. This could have Ghost Spell, which unfortunately, not unfortunately, but it's been reprinted, so it's probably not as valuable anymore. I guess that's still a good thing, but here we go. We got the Trickstar Mandrake. Cyber Reversal Cyclone, the Background Dragon. Kinden Kendo Spirit. Crystal Keeper. Propthorn. Palace of the Elemental Lords. Okay, we have an Ultra Rare. I don't know if that's any good. I don't really even know this card, so it's probably not that great, but we've got a couple cards after that. All right, not too bad. This is actually gonna be really close, around $10. What's up next? Ooh, Fusion Enforcers, and yes, we will be looking for that. Alistair and Invoke stuff. Let's go. I don't remember if it's at the front or not. Let's just do this. Polymerization. We got the Super Solar Nutrient. This might actually be worth something. I think it's worth like $3, so that's actually a big pull. Uh, Performing Pal Trump Witch. Okay, it might be next. Battle Fusion. Nope, I was right. It was at the front. And Fusion. Oh, Fright for Kraken. Okay, I think for some reason I have a feeling that this is not that bad. Fright for Kraken. I don't know. That seemed like a pretty good pack. The super rare uh, Polly is actually really valuable. Not really valuable, but valuable. Couple more packs to go. They might have won it with that. Oh, Pharaoh's Servant. You know what really could win it? You just slam dunk. Jinzo. Jinzo himself. Three, four. Swap them up. Give us the secret rare. We have four star Ladybug of Doom. Insect Barrier. Armor Gloss. Skull Mariner. Bite Shoes. Driving Snow. Cyber Falcon. Hayabusa Knight. And we have a limiter removal okay that is a super rare so i mean this one does not have a lot of foiling on it which is very interesting i kind of like cards like this very subtle very nice old school uh limiter removal pretty good card actually in some certain case you know hit it with that cyber dragon goes a little crazy all right how many packs do we have left two packs okay 
Secret Forces. Let's see. So many packs. So, no, there's 10 packs in here, not nine. Yeah, there's just so many, so many packs. They're very, very solid in terms of value. Altitude Knight. We have the Divine Wind of the Mist Valley. Preparation Rites. That's a dollar. Very nice. Jin, Presider of Rituals. And Necroz Kaleidoscope. If you guys remember, I think it was an auction series episode. I could not pull this card. I couldn't ritual summon all my uh, all my Necroz stuff. I pulled it all, but I couldn't ritual because I had no ritual spells. One more to go. Maximum Crisis. Ash Blossom. Will we pull it? We have pulled it before. We opened 300 packs of this and pulled some stuff. But other than that, I've never pulled it. Other than that big opening, which we really, you know, had a great chance to pull with so many packs. Breakaway. We have the Kaiser Sea Snake. Diamond Dustin. Firecracker. Zodiac Hammer Kong. The Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman. Ooh, Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. I, that snuck up on me and it popped up way before I thought it would. That's an ultra rare. Okay, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be, though. Uh, giving those sleeves like a $10 value actually made that super close. I think the monster may have pulled it off, but you guys are going to see right now what the value is right in front of you. And you guys can see one, but it was pretty fun. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to let me know in the comments and make sure to like the video and subscribe for more epic content like this. We're almost to 150k where we're opening every single pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! History, first edition if possible. Shout out to Choice333. Three, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, Anana Sai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.